Alrighty, good day everybody. So, how are you all? Hope everyone's doing well, um, keeping up your cycling, eating well, getting stronger, and staying fit with a bit of luck. Um, so, this I've got a question. All right, now this is from um, Gibson Paul. Um, now he's asking, what he's saying is, I'm a newbie to cycling. And I've just got a power meter. I've been riding for just over six months and haven't done any real training, but tested an FTP, came in at around 255 at 77 kilos. What is a realistic goal to train for by next summer's racing season? I wouldn't want to weigh less Okay, so I wouldn't want to weigh less than 75 kgs. About what I am now. Um, but is it feasible to try and push to 320 to 350 watts by that time? Um, you know, is it a realistic goal? Look, for me, I think um, that is a realistic goal. Okay, now. I've done other videos on age relation to FTP, okay, and we've had people that are 50 plus saying that they've got FTPs um, up to and over 300 watts, which is awesome. So it doesn't say in here how old this chap is, so I think we can wipe out age as far as it being a problem to get to this higher FTP okay um, and look I'm basing this and my answer to this question purely on what I've done and how I've improved my FTP and by having done it I have a good understanding of what it takes to get to that FTP okay so age I don't think is a major issue unless you're 50 and you're starting off from zero absolutely new to a bike and then you want to get 300 then that ain't going to happen but if you if you're 50 or whatever and you're already close to that because you've been riding a lot well to get that little bit more i think it's achievable so whatever age you are anyway i think it is achievable it's a realistic time frame to get your ftp from 255 to 300 plus somewhere between 320 and 350 is achievable but it's going to come down to a few things firstly i firmly believe this and it's again because i've done it myself right you need to change your diet yeah i mean i hate using the term diet but i mean at the end of the day that's what we know it as you need to change your eating habits yeah or your diet you know i don't like to say I'm on a diet because I'm not on a diet I eat pretty much what I like um, but in moderation I have a clean um, eating plan I eat lots of fruit and vegetables lots of nuts and seeds beans all that sort of stuff you know I eat heaps of that sort of stuff so I have a what I would call a clean diet um, don't eat a great deal of meat anymore i'll be honest with you and i'll do another video on that shortly that you'll be interested in but anyway um it, so it's going to come down to you, you what you're eating to start with because that is a big part of it i really do believe the other thing which i think is the biggest um problem you're going to face which we all face and that is finding the time the time to increase from here to here you need to do a lot of training yeah and it's got to be consistent training it can't be where you do a, um, a week and you're going solid and it's all hunky-dory and then you you go too busy or can't be bothered this week and then you come back two weeks later it, it can't be like that you've got to if you really want to do it you've got to be consistent in your training that's all there is to it um and even if you so to be consistent in the training you've got to find the tap the time so you need to manage your time well 
so there's a lot going on here it's not just getting on the indoor trainer and pedaling away you know you've got to do time management you've got to eat well and if you get those two things right the other thing you then have to do um, is you have to get the right training program you can't just be on the indoor trainer bouting it out pushing 300 watts all the time you've got to slowly build up to that sometimes you know you'll be riding if you've got a 255 um, FTP already you, a lot of the time you're going to be riding at about 180 200 watts you know just ticking over building your endurance you know um, the distance that sort of thing um, and then working on um, pedaling skills all that type of thing you need a good um, training plan to fit into the time that you can allocate to your training and those things combined with eating well I don't see why you couldn't get your FTP up there um, I think it's well and truly achievable for sure anything is possible all comes down to um, whether you've got the um, determination in you to follow it through and do the training because look, I do a lot of training I do all sorts of stuff I've been doing some running a bit of swimming I do a lot of cycling as you know I do some upper body stuff and it's bloody hard it, to stay motivated to want to do it to start with it is hard even for someone like me that really enjoys it sometimes you do just feel like I can't be asked. Um, and it, that is the hardest thing unfortunately what a lot of people do is when they get into you know want to get fit want to be healthy all the rest of it they get going and usually within about 12 months it's all died off and um, they've had enough of it because it is bloody hard work um, to do it and to do it properly especially if you want to train like this chap wants to for um, a racing season because obviously you've got to be in pretty good shape to be racing um, that's going to take a lot of dedication can definitely be done but you need to get those three things right you've got to get your time management you've got to get a good training plan in place and you've got to be eating well from the get-go and you can do it anyway that's what I think um, let me know what you guys think and you got any questions or comments you can stick them down below